guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you the, the Golden Gary. It's a salmon fry and it's a break weed pattern. Now, the hook and the vase is a Partridge Patriot double in size 12 in gold. Now, that's the that's it there tied on a, on a 10. So I'm just going to show you, just I haven't done a 12 in a while. So we'll do it on a 12. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in Fire Orange. Now, what I do here is I come in and start a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Now, why do I start there? Because that's the sort of way, just a rough measurement of where I want the, the wing, two parts of the wing, two haggles in the jungle cock to be. So you, you just got to take some sort of measurement when you're tan flies. Now, just going to run on a couple of mil of thread and remove the, the waist tag. The tag in the rib of the fly is going to be an oval gold tinsel. And I'm using a oval gold tinsel in size 14. This is the, the Vanyard stuff. We'll just catch this in underneath the, the shank of the hook. And then just run your thread down. Sort of wait until you're in line or just slightly past the, the points of the hooks. And then come round with four turns of the oval gold tinsel and on the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks now just keep the oval gold in underneath it seems like a bit of a waste but this will make the fly just a wee bit more robust now just catch and, and pull it back nice and tight put plenty of pressure on this and then just take your thread back down to the tag and there's no tail on this fly it's a good wee fly this here for the beginner. Now the body is gold light bright. Got some off here. Don't need too much. Just a couple of pincers should do it. Slide that up. And then just run this up for your body. Just a wee bit shy at the head. So the end of the body, just get another wee bit. Sometimes you can overdo it with the, the gold light bright. Now, get up to this point, anything that wants to go forward, just sweep it back and bring your thread in front. <coughs> Excuse me, I beg your pardon. Now, that's basically where we started the thread off. There, and then we're going to come up with three or four turns of the oval gold tinsel on the body should be plenty it's more for protection on the body rather than colour a couple of turns up and catch that in come in and trim away your waist tag of oval gold now you can come in at this point and bring out some of your dummy this is just a bit of velcro on an old lollipop stick you've got a dubbing brush you can use it now the wings in two parts you can use a sunburst orange. This is more of a sunburst dyed towards the yellow side and then red fox. So we'll get ourselves a wee bit of the sunburst yellow if you like. It's just dyed towards more the yellow side. Now, now yeah, for this up you want to take another some measurement again so I'm going to offer that up around about twice the length of the hook over the back come around with a pinch and loop and then a couple of turns to hold that'll hold that in position for you then you can come in and trim away the excess and put in two strands of flesh and this is just two strands of like a old gold or a the yellow crystal flash just fold the excess back come in and trim away the longer just moisten them, get more fly to those just trim away the excess name just want to check the the length of the flash on the tail I'm happy enough with that then we want some red a nice red fox on top of that of this just take away all the 
fluff and rubbish. Don't like to see all the guard hairs. And up, so I'm just taking some of those out now. I just want the red slightly shorter than the sunburst uh, yellow. So just take a measurement. If you want it the same length, you tie it the same length. I just like mine a wee bit shorter. I'm just going to catch that in. And just remember when you're going down the sizes of hooks, just reduce your materials by half. That's all I do. I'm going to trim that away. Now at this point we'll just hold our wing. Bring our thread down over the, the cut ends. And back up. Just to tidy everything up and give us a bit of a foundation for our haggles. The first haggle is going to be a badger haggle. Dyed yellow. So, got a nice haggle off here. There's one there. There's one there. We're just going to tie this in by the tip. So, stroke the fibres back to reveal the tip. Come around with a turn. Another turn to hold. Now you can come in and trim that away, but for balls and braces, just flick the tip of the haggle back and tie up over top of the, the tip on the haggle. Slide your fingers back. That'll reveal the tip. Come in and break away the tip of the haggle. Then you can come in with your scissors, starting at the base of the haggle. Just run your scissors up. That's the sound that that should make. And you'll see them the feathers on the stem now to show you like that they're just sitting perpendicular to the stem of the haggle and then you want to come around with one turn in front of the other now the turns here are up to you but it's also dictated by we'll have another haggle in front so I just want to take one more turn it's going to be enough there I'm just going to catch it in underneath the hook shank couple of turns to secure. Come in and trim away the, the excess. Now at this point we're just going to come in and sweep everything back and bring the thread tight up against the haggle. Nice and tight. If you want the wee fly to last more than one fish. The next haggle is going to be a blue uh, lace wing. This is a hand haggle. So I'm just going to stroke the fibres back to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook. Come around with two turns. Fold the tip back. Now, if any wee fibres just come out, just come in with your, your thumb or finger, whatever you suit you, and just sweep it back. It's no big deal. It's not going to cause you any problems. And you can come in and get your tip, break it away. And then just stroke these back. Now, just want one full turn of the lace wing. Any more, and it'll just be too heavily dressed for me. So that's going to do me there. Just going to follow this around with my thread, just catching in the the stem of the haggle, nice and tight. Come in and trim away the the stem. Sweep everything back that wants to go forward of the eye. And then just get a bit of thread down here at the front. I just get it sort of way the leveler, the batter. But that'll come to you the more you tie. Now, that's it. Now you don't have to. I don't know, we'll have a good laugh about this, but I'm going to put Jungle Cock on. So. It's not a cheap feather, but I just I couldn't I couldn't face it without it, if I'm honest. Now got my two eyes. Just offer that up to the just pull that one up a wee bit further, just offer this up to the hook. Just come around and hold them on the side. Now these are just loose turns with no tension on the thread there, it's just the weight of the bobbin that's holding these together. That's hold, sorry, that's holding, securing them under the hook at the present time. Then I'm just going to come in and check the, the length. Now, I'm going to pull this one on a wee tad. Just till I see. I'm just going to check the other side. Just want to make sure that they're, they're level 
because I'll get out and these aren't level on the face up. Right, I'm happy enough for that, so I'm going to hold the two jungle cock eggs, then tighten up, flick your stems back nice and tight, and then build up your head. Right. Don't want to be doing that. Don't want to be going over the eye. Nice and tight. With your thread turns, keeping the thread tight. You can come in and break away the stems. Then just come straight in and throw in a, in a whip finish. Don't worry about anything else at this point. Just concentrate on finishing your fly off. Pull the thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away the the tan thread. Now, at this point, first coat on the head. Just a wee drop of super glue. And you don't want this going anywhere else, guys. Just on the just on the head the whole way right round. It's going off camera there on me on the shot. I don't want it to just bring it back round. So there you go guys, that's the the Golden Gary, it's the wee size 12, um, you know, tie a few of those up, they're, they're good wee flies, sometimes you need wee gold patterns, especially tied on, on gold hooks, now I'm not a great lover of them, I'll, I'll be honest with you, but I would have one or two in my box, just to, just to have in case I wanted to throw on, <coughs> excuse me, just in case there was a bit of uh, tinge of colour. In the water, so that's that's it in a say 12. Sorry, and there's its bigger brother in a in a size 10. So, look, tie a few up, guys. Hopefully, then catch you a few fish. Um, I really do hope that they do catch a fish. I like to see people catching plenty of salmon. Um, until next time, please stay safe and tie lanes. <laughs>